you know, because I never, I never post them the same day I film them. Um, but it is the 30th, it is a Wednesday, it is currently about 12.45. I do have an OBGYN appointment today that we're heading to. I to get my results of my ultrasounds that they did, because they did two. Um, There's a lot of school buses. There is. So I had two ultrasounds, and then um, my blood test. My blood test I did like a week ago, and then my ultrasounds I did a few days ago, but it doesn't take that long to get there. They said it takes two or three days to get to my doctor. Well, I'll be chewing in, rather. I guess it's still a doctor. Yes, ma'am. Jeez. But no, so me and my husband, oh, by the way, there's a the husband. He waves on. He's driving, clearly. Um, but yeah, we're going to see my results. If I'm being completely honest, I'm terrified to know what they're going to tell me. My husband will be good today, knowing that I'm filming. Well, I'm filming. <laughs> If we're not filming, he doesn't care. That light turning red makes me angry. It makes him angry, folks. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to see. Yes, I have eyeballs. It's just very bright, so we're wearing the glasses again. Um, but yeah, so we're going to find out what my results are. And you guys all know that I will tell you what my results are afterwards. My period just finished up. Late, late, late this morning, meaning like three or four o'clock in the morning, it finished. I mean, I showered last night before bed um, because I didn't feel like getting up early today to do it. So I just did it last night before bed. You're still awake before me. I'm only okay, but do you know why I was awake before you? No, no clue. Because there's people in our yard doing work, setting up solar panels okay and let me tell you all these dogs did in the front living room was bark 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 and that it, I could not sleep and then when they came into the backyard they were making noise so then I couldn't sleep and I had to pee so once I got up for pee and tried to lay back down I was falling asleep until all the dogs were barking and they started working so that's why I was up before you because I just couldn't sleep because they would not stop so that is why I was not asleep when I wanted to be asleep but it's fine we're cool
fight that was going on in there with me. Um, so we'll see what happens. And I shall let you guys know as soon as I do. Oh, I'll let you guys go for now and we'll be back soon. On the ultrasound place, they're just. What about your huh? What about your bubble? Give me a minute. So, anyways, we gotta wait on that. I have to go back in two weeks from OBGYN because I have to tell my husband too because he hasn't been informed. I haven't told him. Is in two weeks we're freezing my vagina okay. again. Um, so we're freezing that in two weeks. Um, and then after they freeze it, in three months after that, I mean, I'll go back after that, like probably every two weeks, just to keep going on this journey or whatever, but I have to go back three months from when they do the freezing to check on it again because she says it'll kill all the abnormal cells because I have abnormal cells again. So we have to freeze myself down there again. So that'll be in two weeks. Um, and so she's like, my blood work looked really good because my husband just asked me about the blood work. It looks really good. She said the only thing she was concerned about was my vitamin D. And I told her, oh, my primary has me on vitamin D stuff. For that she's like oh perfect so then i don't even have to worry about that i was like no i'm taking my vitamins and i did skip a few days because it i gotta make it a habit of doing it every day and i sometimes will forget so that's why it's probably still low because i haven't been i didn't take i haven't been taking them every day like i'm supposed to uh so i gotta set a reminder or something for myself to take them um i did take them i've been taking them the last three days and I think I skipped three days. So I think that's my issue. I gotta make sure I don't skip days because that's not good. Um, because vitamin D is very important. But now that I'm getting more of the house and the sun's vitamin D, hopefully that'll also help. But yes, so she said the only thing she was concerned about was with my vitamin D, but she knows now that my doctor's got me on vitamin D stuff, uh, vitamin D's. So she's like, she's not concerned about that since she knows that we're already working on it. Um, she did say though, she's like, she's not concerned about it because it's not too high, it's only two points above where it's supposed to be. But for PCOS, she says, she doesn't believe I have it, but sometimes it just goes a little high depending, you know? So she's like, um, you know, just go get that test done again. I don't have to do, um, I don't have to fast or anything like that. There's no drinking water, there's no pink, it's just a test for a PCOS. So I don't even have to worry about any of that, thank God, and even my husband wants to go do that today. And I'm like, okay, if he wants to. Cause I already gotta go there. Well, he does, he has to get his stuff done too. But, okay, so my blood work came back good. Praise Jesus, I needed some good news. And remember you guys, I don't know if, I remember, if you guys remember, uh, my last WGY appointment, I did you guys, oh my God, what if I have PCOS, oh my God. And I remember telling my husband about that too. I do not, but it, uh, it was, it, it showed two points, but she says she's like 99% sure I don't have it. It just popped up. So she's like, just go test it again and we'll see. So she's gonna test me for that, I believe either every two weeks or every month, I can't remember what she said. But that'll be something she tests for to make sure that it doesn't go above that. Cause she said if it doesn't go above, above that at all and then it drops back down, we're cool, no PCOS, good. So I'm happy that we don't have PCOS, but I will still have to get blood tested for it. So I'm like, thank goodness. Um, but. That's not a term, right? No, it's not. But we're good, okay? So I'm happy about that. Um, and then, like I said, the ultrasounds haven't come in yet, so we're waiting on that. But I go back in two weeks on a Wednesday, same day, same time, 
and today was quick. I was the only one in the office. I mean, like two people came in behind me, but I was staying within like six, seven minutes of waiting for my appointment. Yeah, no, that wasn't bad. And it wasn't bad this time. It was real quick and real pain. It was painless this time. And they didn't weigh me today. And it was just results. So what? So it's just like, y'all, I'm happy because she said my blood, work, my blood work looked really good. She said there was really no issues with it. So I'm ecstatic because I was gonna cry if my blood work came back bad. I'm just waiting on the ultrasound results now and that I'm nervous now because I gotta wait two more weeks to find those out. Even though I'm sure they'll get them at some point this week, I'm sure. Tomorrow, I gotta conquer a figure. He has to conquer a figure tomorrow. Husband's going to the dentist tomorrow. He's got mouth problems. He was supposed to go a couple of months ago, but he didn't go. So now he's going because it's really bugging him and I told him he should have already done it. But he's gonna go, he's gonna be just fine because I was just fine. He's gonna be good, so yes, he has a dentist appointment tomorrow. He's scared of dentists, but this dentist is really nice and he should already know that because he's already met this dentist. Um, but the guy is really cool. So, I'm just happy that my results came back up for that. We're just waiting on the ultrasound results. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. You're on both sides of the road, babe. And I don't know where your phone is here too. Sorry, I don't have my spoon fell right now. He's, because he puts it where it shouldn't be put it. Put it, put. He said he's just gonna have to wait. He's just gonna have to relax. Because I don't know where it is and I can't reach for it. But yeah, so that's good. We've got good news. I'm happy. We're just gonna wait for the ultrasound results. Like I said, that'll be in two weeks. They'll probably already have it before then, but I won't know about them for two weeks. Which, it's fine. I won't overthink it. Positive, positive, positivity. Give me. Positive, positivity. Right, so we're being positive. Sending good vibes. You know what though? Today was good vibes because we're looking good so far. Yes, I have abnormal cells, but they can get killed off. Right? With freezing. And I'm okay with that. It didn't hurt the freezing. It just was very uncomfortable the last time. I squeezed my husband's hand. And the problem now is... one person's allowed and that's the patient so your spouse cannot be with you so I'm gonna be sitting there wishing my spouse was there getting your hoo-ha frozen getting my hoo-ha frozen to kill the bad cells off <laughs> he laughs I don't know why he thinks this is funny because your reaction last time was comical it was really cold no no it's cold it's cold it's cold and I squeezed his hand and now I've got no one to squeeze I don't have his hand to squeeze this time so I'm just gonna have to be brave. I'm not scared is the thing. It's just, it's nice to have your spouse with you so you can hold somebody's hand, even as an adult, especially during a baby journey, you know? So that part sucks, but it's fine. We'll do it, we're gonna get through it. So that's in two weeks from now. Same time as this appointment, same day, different date, if that makes sense. So my next appointment will be 413 at 115, like today's was. It's great. What? My follow up doctor's appointment. Yeah. It's 412. Mine's 413. <laughs> we always do this. This week is mine first, then his. That's hilarious to me. But yeah, but yeah, I just gotta go get blood work done again real quick. But yeah, everything looks good. And that's all there is that I've got for y'all. Um, I will update you guys. If they, I don't think they're gonna call me with the results. If they do, that's cool, and then I'll update you guys then, but I doubt it, so it'll be probably two weeks, my next appointment. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching my video. If you are a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I post. And hit that like button in the corner to like this video. And until next time, we will see you later. See you guys. Be safe out there. <laughs> Toodles.